शांति प्लीज हरिया वॉट इज दिस माई हस्बेंड इज लिविंग टू सर्व इस कंट्री सो शुडेंट आई प्रे फॉर सेफ्टी शांति I have chosen a soldier as my life partner and today the country needs that soldier his duty is calling him yes shanti but i am leaving you in such a time when a wife is in dire need of a husband you are going to be a mother of my child shanti sometimes i think that it would have been so nice if you were living in a joint family then you wouldn't have to live alone in such a situation ashok i'm a doctor and i can take care of myself and shambhu uncle is also here with me yes yes ma'am i am always here and captain sir as long as i am here you don't need to worry about ma'am and yes sir all of your luggage has been kept in the jeep thank you shambhu uncle thank you very much but there is one thing i will surely miss you you know that i love you a lot Hey I will also miss you Shanti <laughs> Shanti You are a doctor You must have seen a, a lot of heart wrenching things Then why are you crying today? Ashok, as a doctor, it is one thing to witness a heart-wrenching situation in a hospital, but as a wife, it's another thing to send a husband to war. Ashok, I know that, darling. Come now, give me a nice hug. Come. I'll be back. You know, I was hoping for a happy goodbye. Come. Yes. Come. Shanti take care of yourself Well done soldier this night by tomorrow morning company will reach here for us so tonight we will have to handle this front by any means even if we may have to lose our lives any questions over and out so you have a message see osir has called you sham yes sir Until I return you will handle this post. Yes sir. All of you take charge. Sir you called me? Yes Captain Ashok. From the headquarters do you have an important message? What is the message sir? After listening to the message I don't know how would you react but it is very important that you hear the message then please sir Ashok I am extremely sorry to say that your wife what happened to my wife sir Ashok your wife Dr Shanti Chauhan is no longer with us No. No. What are you saying, sir? 
a soldier is fighting for his country he is fighting with his enemies and by giving the news of his wife's death you are killing the spirit of a soldier sir ashok please control your emotions we are in a battlefield and leaves are not permitted but as a special case i am granting you leave no sir i will not go sir i am a soldier and at this moment my country needs me and as every good soldier i should forget about my needs and think about protecting my country sir and my country is bigger for me than my family sir i will not go sir i will not go sir ashok we are proud of you my son we need soldiers like you keep it up is everything okay are okay sir are you okay sir yes i am okay the patient same condition sir change the trip okay doctor
डॉक्टर पेशेंट अशोक आर यू ओके डॉक्टर यस डॉक्टर कैन यू कॉल शंभू अंकल From my house, I will give you my landline number two six two six five three one four. But Captain, you are currently in the Army Headquarters Hospital, which is far away from your house. I thought I am in my city. Doctor, can I ask you something? Sure, Captain. Can I go back to my home? You cannot go in this condition. Consider yourself very lucky person that even after withstanding so many bullet wounds, you're still alive. Ma'am, I got the news. The captain sir is well and returning home. <laughs> Knowing this, you must have definitely got some satisfaction. You must be happy, <laughs> ma'am. By God's grace, we got our captain back. I wish. I wish you were here today. so you could have welcomed him <laughs> and we would have celebrated sir's return <laughs> upon his return god knows what will he go through when he doesn't see you in this house <laughs> i had promised sir that i will take care of you now what will i answer him शांति 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 शांति
लेफ्ट हैंड सर सर शांति नाउ नाउ शांति इज नो मोर सर शांति जस्ट नाउ आई सॉ यू एट द डोर स्टेप यू आर वेलकमिंग मी For a moment, I felt that I had received a false news of your death, but that was my illusion. The truth is that you are no longer in this world. You have left me forever. शंभु अंकल यस सर यस सर हाउ डिड ऑल दिस हैपन इट वॉज अ स्ट्रेंज एक्सीडेंट सर पीपल से दैट यू नो दो रूम वेर ऑपरेशन टूल्स आर केप्ट शांति मैम वॉज पासिंग बाय दैट रूम एंड सडनली शांति मैम स्लिप्ट and then a sharp edged knife pierced through her chest ashok sir <laughs> the doctors tried their best to save shanti ma'am but they couldn't save her sir they couldn't save her <laughs> they couldn't save her ashok 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 शांति आई रियली विश दैट आई हैड लॉस माई लाइफ वाइल फाइटिंग विथ दो एनिमीज लुक एट माई बैड लक I couldn't even see you on your deathbed. I couldn't even see you on your deathbed. I couldn't even see you on your deathbed. <laughs> that accident happened because of which you have left me forever yes asho i have left this world forever but what exactly happened to me for that you will have to visit that hospital once again shanti 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 yes asho I have left this world forever. But what exactly happened to me for that you will have to visit that hospital once again.
कैप्टन अशोक हेलो डॉक्टर आर के मेहता यू वॉन्टेड टू मीट मी यस डॉक्टर आई एम डॉक्टर शांति हजबेंड एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट द डेथ ऑफ माई वाइफ शांति हो ओके श्योर कम कम इन माई लाइफ आई हैव never seen or heard such a terrible accident dr shanti was a very famous surgeon the knife she used to give life to many of her patients all through her medical profession the same knife the same knife has killed her <sighs> sad come please come प्लीज दिस इज द सेम रूम वेर डॉक्टर शांति हेज टेकन अ लास्ट ब्रेथ अशोक अशोक शांति कैप्टन अशोक शांति शांति अशोक नो अशोक शांति 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 कैप्टन अशोक डॉक्टर डॉक्टर मेहता What's the matter, Captain Ashok? Are you all right, Doctor Mehta? Just now I saw Shanti. What? She was covered in blood. She had a knife in her chest. She was going away from me. What are you saying? You saw Shanti? Yes. Come on, Captain. It's not possible. She's no. She's no more. She's dead, huh? Please control your emotions. Please, please take control. I'm all right. I'm all right, doctor. Can you please tell me the incident which happened with Shanti? How did it happen? I mean to ask, how did that knife manage to pierce her chest? Can you please tell me? You come with me. Come in. Ha. Huh. All the tool for the operation were in the tray. And she was carrying the tray. It's been said that when she was carrying the tray and then her leg fell on a piece of a broken glass and she sprang and with her the tray too. and then the knife straight came down and pierced her chest so you mean to say doctor that shanti was carrying this tray while leaving this room huh. and on her way her leg fell on a piece of glass shanti sprang and along with her this tray too 
sprang. All the tools of the tray fell down, but the knife did not fall down. That knife went and pierced straight to Shanti's chest. Now you tell me, doctor, is it possible? Think, doctor, think. No. It is not possible, doctor. A sea captain. The time this accident happened, I was not here. Whatever I've told you, it's all from the findings of Inspector Dhanraj, completely based on his investigations. That's all. So that means, Doctor Mehta, I will have to meet Inspector Dhanraj too. Yes. Good morning, sir. Captain Ashok is wanting to meet you. Captain Ashok. Yes. Send them in. Okay, sir. Please go, sir. I am Captain Ashok Chauhan. <laughs> Captain Ashok. I am Inspector Dhanraj. Please have a seat. Thank you. Yes, Captain. How may I help you? Tell me. What can I say? I have come to hear from you. You handled the case of my wife, Dr. Shanti's death. Then you closed the case, stating that it was an accident. Why, Inspector? That's because, Captain, it was an accident. Accident? Did you even visit the location of the accident? What do you mean? You mean to say that I have closed the file without even visiting the location of the accident, huh? See, Inspector, I am a soldier. And a few days back, I returned from the battlefield. When I got news of my wife's death, at that time I was fighting with the enemies. But I didn't let that news weaken my courage or my spirit. I kept fighting. I kept fighting till my enemies were defeated. I just want to tell you this, Inspector. That I have not returned from the battlefield as a coward. Why are you? Telling me all this? I am telling you all this, Inspector, because I still don't believe that my wife's death was an accident. Listen, Captain. I don't have time for your nonsense stories. I have told you that it was an accident. That's the end of the story. I have nothing more to say. You may leave. I don't know why, but your behavior towards me is very strange, Inspector. I am a soldier. And a soldier expects respect from an inspector like you. Before leaving, I would like to tell you one thing. The reason you are telling me about the death of my wife, I am not satisfied with it and neither with your investigation. Ashok. Ashok. Shanti. Shanti. Shanti! 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 Shanti, where are you? Shanti! 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 Sir? What happened, sir? Did you see someone over there? No, sir. I did not see anyone. You didn't? But I saw her. 
I saw my Shanti on a chest. There was a knife on a chest. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's go, soldier. Yes, sir. Captain sir, what happened? Nothing. Now shall I set the table? No, Shamu uncle. I'm not hungry. You go and rest. As you wish, sir. Shanti. Ashok, please eat something. Shanti. What is happening with me? Day by day, my illusion is getting worse. Tell me the truth. Is this all a prank? No, Ashok. Neither of them is the truth. Shambhu uncle got tired of requesting you to eat. Recently, you're not focusing on your health. Ashok, please don't hurt me anymore. You think I'm hurting you? You are the one who's hurting me by leaving me all alone. What do you think I like living alone like this? Shanti, please sit next to me. I miss you so much. If this is my illusion, so let it be. I want to live in this illusion for some time. Please. Ashok, you eat food first. Then I will not only sit with you, but I will also listen to what you say. Will you again leave me? Okay. You very well know that I can never refuse you. You know it, right? Yes. I will eat. Captain Sir. <laughs> Who brought this plate of food here? You had just now refused to eat. Shambo uncle. Shanti was here. She had brought this plate here. She was standing right here where you are standing now. She was here. Sir, where is Shanti now? Shanti ma'am is no more. Shanti is here, Shambhu uncle. She is here. I spoke to her. She was standing right here. Why don't you believe me, Shambhu uncle? Shanti. Ashok. No, Ashok. I cannot go away from you. 
आई विल ऑलवेज बी इन योर हार्ट शांति 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 आई एम कमिंग शांति प्लीज लिसन टू मी शांति प्लीज लिसन टू मी शांति शांति वेर आई यू शांति 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 कैप्टन सर शंभु अंकल शांति सिया She was calling me. She was calling me. Did you listen? She was calling me. She called me. Sir, it's all your illusion. It's not my illusion, Shambhu Uncle. This is not my illusion. She brought me food. She spoke to me. She was in front of me. She is here. She is calling me. She is here. Shanti, Shanti, where are you? Shanti, Shanti. What is all this, Shanti, my child? and why are you doing all this you have never caused any trouble to anyone in your entire life and this captain sir whom you have love more than your life why are you troubling him like this do you know what he thinks he thinks that you are still alive you appear and then you disappear i request you please don't trouble him in this manner my child Please don't trouble him. Shambhu don't Kaka. Trouble him. Yes, sir. I'm okay now. You go and take rest. As you wish. Sir, please take care of yourself. I am leaving. Ashok. Huh? Ashok. शांति शांति अशोक शांति 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 कर रही शांति शांति आई एम हियर Shanti please don't go please just listen to me after that you may disappear but now please listen to me no ashok i cannot go away from you i will always be in your heart shanti tell me one thing you are still alive right no ashok you and me are far away from each other the place i am in is called death death the same death ashok which you have been seeing again and again but shanti how is that possible so that means the vision i keep seeing it's not an illusion it's a reality yes but my death is not an accident A professional murderer was involved in this who stabbed that knife into my chest. Stabbed in your chest? He stabbed my Shanti with a knife? Who is that murderer Shanti? Where is that murderer Shanti? Where is that murderer? Tell me, Shanti. Tell me, Shanti. Who was he? Who was he? Tell me. I will kill him myself. I will kill him myself. I swear on you, I'll kill him myself. I will kill him. That's what I've come here to tell you. My murderer is still roaming free among people. He's misleading them. There were not just one, 
but four people who murdered me what four people were involved in your murder yes that night before going to the hospital for my second shift i went to see a patient is just one be a man hey pappu hey man look over there dude what a figure sexy <laughs> <laughs> we are also patients please treat us as well <laughs> great here comes the savior What the hell is he doing here man? Yeah man. What kind of locality do you live in? And what kind of people <laughs> live here? Actually doctor, what can we do? We are helpless. Such people stay in that house. Very often they keep on harassing women. No one But, knows what is their illegal activity. But then you should complain to the police about such people. Forget it doctor. Uh, talking to these rogues means jeopardizing your own life. Come doctor. Come and see the patient. Please give me your bag. Hello Miss Doctor. Wouldn't you treat us? Leave it man. She ran away. <laughs> <laughs> come Dr Shanti, please come. This is the patient. She is in a lot of pain. I don't know what happened. <coughs> no problem. Auntie, how do you feel? <coughs> Palpitations in the chest. And I am unable I am unable to breathe properly Don't worry just a moment let me check <coughs> Take a deep breath Hmm it seems you have a chest congestion Let me check your BP as well Raise your arm please. Oh god. Your BP is slightly high. You're taking medicines for BP, right? Yes, doctor. Yes. These are the medicines. These. Hmm. This is fine, but I'll prescribe some more medicine. Okay. Please get these as well. Okay. Please get these medicines. Okay. And auntie, once you take these medicines, you'll be fine. Doctor Shanti, your fees. Once my patient gets better then I'll take my fees. And auntie please don't worry just take all the medicines on time and you'll get better. Okay? And take care of yes. yourself. All right? Yes. Please come I leave you doctor. No no. You please don't worry I'll go on my own. <laughs> all right auntie. Thank you. Okay. Have you ever seen such a generous doctor? You don't worry. You will be fine. You'll be fine. Wow, what's up friends enjoying the night cool night and hard liquor <laughs> ah let's go in come, we were waiting for you only come hmm That's amazing. Amazing job guys. <laughs> so, we have managed to bring it here. But now we need your help to get these to the place called Sangampuri. Roshan and Jalek are eagerly waiting for this supply. There will be big bomb blasts in many parts of this country on the 26th of January. Sir, you can get a huge amount. <laughs> For now, here's your advance. <sighs> Open it. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Sir, once the work is done, you will get double of it. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, don't you worry, guys. You don't have to worry at all. Dhanraj is here. So order ten times of these materials. <laughs> Um so as i was saying dhanraj is with you guys then you should not have any problem because i'm with you hey someone's out there hurry up hurry up hey come on she is a doctor she had come here to see a patient living next door Doctor, I know her. I know her very well. Come, Inspector. Dr. Shanti, this house is locked. And I don't think anyone lives in this house. It's possible that those people have left from here. But the arms and ammunition must be inside. Please break the lock and search the place. Constable, open it. Dr. Shanti, this house is completely deserted. And you were saying you have seen arms, ammunition, and guns here. So where have all those things gone? But Inspector, I saw. No, Doctor. Here. No. If you have any enmity against Inspector Dhanraj or any personal kind of grudges, so it does not mean that you can falsely accuse him like this. You may not know, but Inspector Dhanraj is a very honest and a true police officer. Listen, if I want to, I can take legal action against you. But as you are a doctor by profession, that's why I respect you. Don't repeat this again. Come, constable. Inspector, you? <laughs> yes, doctor. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's a good question. I was waiting only for you, doctor. To make you realize that what are you doing? It's not right. It's very wrong. Now you're going to teach me what is right and what is wrong. Is it? Uh, a dishonest and corrupt officer like you, who is supporting a terrorist group for some money, who is working along with terrorists to destroy the country, he will teach me what is right and what is wrong. Look, Inspector, today you were lucky because the ACP didn't agree with me. As I couldn't give him any proof, perhaps you might have come to know that I've heard your conversations and seen you there. But inspector listen to me very carefully. You cannot escape now. I will definitely collect evidence against you. <laughs> Look Dr Shanti. You are a woman. And if there's injustice inflicted on any woman, I cannot tolerate that. 
If you want, I can make you a partner in this deal, doctor. Just think, it's a golden opportunity. But you have to do a small favor for me. You have to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> if you support me in this work, then you'll get so much wealth that you will never be able to earn this much money in your next 10 lives. <laughs> you can keep this dirty money. I'm the wife of a soldier and my husband without caring about his life is fighting on the front with the enemies of this country. And you? You want to work with the enemies to destroy your own country? If I keep my mouth shut, then my conscience will curse me for the rest of my life. Doctor, doctor, an emergency case has come. His condition is very critical. Okay, you go. Okay, doctor. I'm coming. Inspector, you listen to me very carefully that no one can save you and all your colleagues. Understood? Ah, doctor. Hmm. Please give it a second thought, doctor. Huh? Now is not the time to think. It's the time to act. By tomorrow morning, everybody will know about this. When I go to the Commissioner. What happened, sir? It looks like this doctor will never keep her mouth shut, Papu. We will have to shut her up forever. Understood, sir. Doctor. Hmm. Shanti. So this means that Inspector Dhanraj and Inspector murdered you? No, Ashok. He himself doesn't do anything. He makes people do it. And the report of my murder which he has written is something like this. Inspector Dhanra changed my report in such a way that my death looked like an accident. Whereas that was not the case. The truth was something else. What was that truth, Shanti? Tell me, what was that truth? I'm telling you, Ashok. Ashok, this is how they murdered me. Shanti, I will not leave those four alive. I will kill them. No, Ashok, 
This is not that easy. Inspector Dhanraj is a very vicious and clever player. And at the end, he has control over the law. So does that mean that he will continue doing crime under the law and we will just keep watching him do it? No, Shanti. I am a soldier. If I can kill the enemies of our country, then I can also kill the enemies of our society. And by the way, enemies of the society are more dangerous than the enemies of the country. Yes, Ashok. It is very easy to identify these external enemies. But our own people, in our own society, who are ready to sell their own country, are very difficult to identify. And the way Dhanraj has disgraced the law, he will be punished for that. And those three traitors will also be punished. But Ashok, if you take the law in your hand, it will set a wrong example. I will take my revenge from them. I understood, Shanti. You are afraid because you think that after killing all four of them, I will kill myself too. Yes, you are right, Ashok. That's exactly what I want, Shanti. Because now I cannot live alone without you. Why don't you understand my feelings? I can't live without you. No, Ashok. Please don't hurt me by saying all these things. You just do one thing. You somehow gather all four of them in one place. And just as they made my death look like an accident, in the same way I will kill them all and make it look like an accident. Okay, Shanti. I will do exactly as you say. Now just wait and watch. How I make them fall in my trap. Ah. So you all are here. What is the matter, sir? You called us here? I had to. Because we have a small problem. But what is the exact problem, sir? Captain Ashok. Oh. The same guy. Dr. Shanti's husband. He wants to reopen the case of his wife. Dr. Shanti's murder. The same case which I had closed down. There is no problem in that. But the problem is that he is a soldier. And these soldiers have access to very powerful people. But sir, why does he want that? When you know it has been totally proved, Dr. Shanti's death was accident. That's it. That is my problem, friends. There is definitely something brewing up in the mind of Captain. He has some kind of suspicion because of which he wants to reopen this case. And friends, if this case is reopened then, definitely some new information will come up, which can be very dangerous for all of us. So what to do, sir? What to do? <laughs> what to do? Before all the things go south, we should send that captain to the same oh. place where his wife is huh? very simple <laughs> but sir tell me what's the plan 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 the plan is same which we had planned for his dear wife find out i want to know where this captain goes who does he meets with i want you to find out everything okay sir Okay, here we go. Captain. <laughs> Shanti. Shanti. Ashok, your hard work has paid off. 
now those four have started to fear you. They are suspecting that you know the truth of my murder. And now they are looking for an opportunity to make you a victim of an accident just like they did to me. And you have to give them this opportunity. Okay, Shanti. I will definitely give them this opportunity. If those people are looking for me, then they will definitely follow me. And by the way, Shanti, I have not gone jogging for many days. Tomorrow morning, I'll go for jogging, Shanti. That's exactly what they want. Tomorrow morning will be the last morning for all four of them. Look at that. That's our prey running. Go. Return only when you hunt him down. And I will be waiting for you here. Inspector sir, you don't worry at all. Within a few minutes this story will be closed. Then what are you waiting for? Just go. Come on. Captain, you are dead. Search there. You go straight. I look here. Done.
What happened? Are you scared? Didn't you recognize me? I'm the same woman whom you killed that night. Your fingerprints are present on your knife. You have committed suicide. Papu is dead. This is not a murder. It's an accident. Now Dino is looking for you. That was, that was Ratan's voice. I think I'll have to go and check.
It's time for you to rest in peace. You're also making the same huh? mistake. Huh? 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 The, the, the doctor. You, 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 you cannot be alive. I had, I had killed you. You cannot be alive. I'm not alive. I'm a soul. Soul? No. This cannot be possible. This cannot be possible. No. No, this cannot be possible. No. No. No, this cannot be possible. No. 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 I'm not Shanti. No. I'm her soul. No. Uh, soul? Soul? Yes, soul. And I have come back to take my revenge. No, no. Do you remember that night? When you were planning to destroy this country by taking bribes from the enemy of this country? But I saw you that night. And that same night in my hospital, you had me killed. After killing me, you made my murder look like an accident. No. Dhanraj, today I will make your death look like an accident. No. No. Please, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Shanti, look, I, I will never repeat this again. I promise. Please forgive me. No. 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 Oh. 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 Please stop this vehicle. Oh. Please. Please, don't kill me. Please. No. 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 Oh. Oh. Please forgive me. No. Please, please, don't, 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 don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please forgive me. Don't be so cruel. Please don't be so cruel. No, Dhanraj. You have lost your right to live. <laughs> Until people like you are sitting on the chair of law, betraying your own country, then how will our country's defense be intact? Will be the last morning for all four of them. Captain! Captain, please convince her. Please convince her not to kill me. Captain, please stop her. When a soldier goes to fight a war on the border, then he leaves the responsibility of his family to the keepers of law and society. <laughs> but when a soldier himself gets betrayal in return, that his wife is killed by the hands of a police officer, <laughs> then wouldn't the people lose their faith from the law and the police? They definitely will. I have lost my fate too. You are even worse than the external enemies of this country. You are a traitor and a traitor has no right to live. No, Captain. No, no, no. Please stop her. No, Captain. I don't want to die. No, Captain. Please don't kill me. No, Dhanraj. And you don't even have to worry about your cremation. I have arranged for you to be cremated right here. No, Doctor. No. No! 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 Please forgive me! No! 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 Please, doctor, don't kill me! Please forgive me, doctor! Ashok, all my criminals have been punished. The job I came here for is now complete. I'm leaving now. But your fight is not over yet. There are still many officers in society like Dhanraj 
who blatantly misuse the law please promise me that you will continue your fight against them yes shanti i promise you that i will continue this fight ashok thank you for all the love and care you have given me i'm sorry ashok goodbye <laughs> goodbye shanti I promise you Shanti this fight will continue it will continue till my last breath <laughs>